Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is that time again. Man, I should have looked up a quote from Kingpin. What was that? The bowling movie. Oh. Kingpin. <sighs> Golly. Somebody put in a good quote from Kingpin, and I know K-Boy will probably put in the part where... Uh, the old nasty girlfriend, the picture of her with Woody Harrelson, I think, was... I don't remember. I, you know, because that's how he made his rent, dude. I remember sitting in the, him crapping in the urinal. Yeah. And I remember the hair Bill Murray's over. hair coming <laughs> over. And there's a guy that bowls. There's a guy that bowls with us that puts me in the... I, I'm with you. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Puts me in the mind of him and that movie. Yesterday we talked about bad habits, and somebody had brought up we didn't mention cell phones are a bad habit. And I went. We've talked about this many a times. Are they a good habit or a bad habit? I I, I didn't really, I, I couldn't really. I think they're bad. I can't. I didn't really go either way. So I didn't. I didn't really have the response for that, but. I think they're bad. Technology is but amazing, though. There's always going to be something that has your attention, whether you okay. put your iPod in okay. and you're a music listener, or you're a YouTube watcher, yeah, or you're a TV watcher, or you're a phone player owner. Yeah, you're right. You are. You're. You're absolutely right. With how did people get work done that work in offices without computers back in the day? How did there was typewriters? I know. I get it, but like when you had to have a file and you had to go get up, walk over, get the file from Joe, come over, open it up, look at what you had to do. Well, that's why you used to work eight hours a day. Woo! You can't tell me one person now that works eight hours a day. I'm in a desk job. There's plumbers and electricians and that and contractors. I was trying and stuff. to. I was trying to think because you're absolutely right. With technology of going, hey, send me that file. I get that file. I can do that. Put that in. I think okay, that's in. I'm done. And the proof is in the Facebook pudding. Yes. Or the Instagram pudding. Yes. Yes. Because yes. if if you're an employer, if you go look, post, post, post. Pose and some ten times, <laughs> twenty times worse than others. And I just, hey, we're not knocking it because we know we're what y'all are watching us at work. So we're excited that you guys are watching us at work. So we appreciate that. Do I dare ask if if somebody will tell us if they work eight hours a day? I do not work eight hours a day. Even when I had a job at the diaper plant, I slept off and did not work eight hours a day. Or 12 that I was supposed to. Or three. Or three in any of it. I have found a way to relax a little longer than I should. But I'm a, I'm a big believer in just getting it done. You know what I mean? If you're a worker. Oh, I'm a. Let's just you know get it me. done. Let's just get it over with and get it done. If it takes us three and a half hours, let's work three and a half hours. Then we'll be done. I, are you an eight hour Worker, not do not tell me that you go to work from eight to five, so you count that as eight hours of working. Yeah, because I, I I've heard over over the years and days that I don't have anything to do. And there, it boils down into the initiative. If you're an employee, I got nothing to do. You know what? Let me go do it. I can, at our place, I can always clean. I can we, always pick up something. We were sitting there yesterday. You had already left. Me, Brian, and Brazil were sitting there. And the one girl that works the counter yep. got the little poofy Bum, hair back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stocking water, cleaning tables. Never stopped. Lady asked for her food. She took the, she was putting ice in the ice bucket. She took it, folded up, set it around sat on the side, went and got her food, gave it to her, went back, undid it. She never stopped. How long would that last? Barry, I'm going to do it right now. I think with her it would because she's been there a while. Okay. But then I look over at Gary. 
behind the bar. No disrespect to Gary. No. Gary's a good guy. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. I'm going to say this. Barry's always wanted to hear this on the show, and it has proven to be true. A new, a broom will only sweep straight for 30 days. Then it starts to curve with all this, which means you miss dust. You miss things. You miss a few things. And he said that to us, and we made fun of him. We're like, yeah, whatever, dude. But every new employee we hire works good for 30 days. And then they go, oh, I'm slumping off. Oh, slumping off. And you know, do, I, do, I, do you think it's too... <sighs> Like buying a car or anything else, you know you gotta you gotta keep giving them the incentives, giving them offers they can't refuse. Totally agree. With you know that. what I mean? That's exactly Those type what it things. Is. Uh, and simply, and Brazil is really good at this. He sends Rex a text, going, "Man, I appreciate your service. I appreciate what you do. We know you're underpaid. We're sorry. You'll never get a raise." I. But the text helps. That he don't ever get a raise. Yeah. Thank you, Brazil, for doing that. I need to send one to everybody else out there. It's not that it's not that you don't want to. I mean, it's the appreciation of the employee, but the employee, just like we had to do at Paragon when we didn't get our raises, it was told why. We did not make, they're, they're not selling the diapers. We're not buying the diapers that right. we're making. So we got to find another way. So we can't give y'all money we don't have. That's just... And everybody does the same thing, especially Gerald. That's bull. I'm here all day long. It's but, but what are you going to do? You can't get it. Blood and turnip. What was our topic today? I forgot. Uh, you went back into habits. Oh, yeah, it was a phone. You went back phone. into habits with cell phones, and I, I do think they are addictive, just like television, just like radio. All that good stuff. Is anything's addictive if you do it too much? Is that right? Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Well, the one thing I could center myself being addicted to, I don't do too much. You'd still get tired of it. I don't know. You'd still get tired of it. I don't know. You know what? You probably will not do this, but you used to back in the day. But if I can remember what that I want to talk about tomorrow, if I can remember this, it's going to have to do with sex. Stay tuned for tomorrow's show. Oh, I will show. be here. Stay tuned for tomorrow's show. Chris Chris computers. Creds and creds. That's Chris, by the way. I learned that yesterday. I'm good because I've been calling him Chris all the time. That's <laughs> our sponsor for today. Until tomorrow, chicken fried steak, as you can see, this bowling dot. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. And I did get a movie quote in. And we are out.